Hello again, Alan Steady here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to enable advanced threat protection on your Sophos XG firewall, which will allow us to detect and block command and control CNC botnet traffic. At the core of the advanced threat protection is a set of different traffic analysis mechanisms based on DNS, the IP tables, as well as the application engine. What this does is checks against data from our friends over there at Sophos Labs to detect and prevent devices connecting to CNC botnets outside of the network. With this type of selective sandboxing, the ATP engine looks at all traffic leaving the network, detects if it's malicious or leaving to a CNC. If traffic is leaving to a CNC, only that traffic is dropped, allowing our user to continue on unaffected. In other words, all other traffic passes through the firewall uninterrupted. This isn't it either. If you utilize the web protection as well as the intrusion prevention system, which I highly recommend, the advanced threat protection analysis will then be leveraged to the results of all these systems within a single consolidated dashboard. Enabling ATP is simple, so let's go ahead and jump into the web admin of our Sophos XG firewall and take a look. Here in our web admin, we'll navigate to system in our main menu, followed by system services and advanced threat protection. To enable advanced threat protection, select the on button. The ATP engine will now begin to analyze data from all the enabled services running on our Sophos XG firewall. The log settings can be modified by selecting the change log settings or reached manually by navigating to system, followed by system services and log settings. Once you have configured your log settings and applied them, we'll jump back over to the Advanced Threat Protection section to complete the configuration. Here, under the policy, we can make decisions on what to do with the traffic, select log only or log and drop. If required, exceptions can also be added for specific networks or hosts, and even for specific threats. However, in most cases, this is not necessary and should only be done with guidance from our CFO support team to ensure that overall protection is not compromised. Select Apply, where we can see that our advanced threat protection settings have been successfully updated. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, click on that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel so you can be notified of the next release, and more importantly, hit us back on the comment section below where we want to hear from you. So leave us a post. We're always interested in video ideas and topics. We appreciate you watching.